effective date clause what is this date so any agreement will have multiple dates one is the date of execution which is the date you are signing this and second is the date on which the agreement the obligation of the parties become effective so it can be a future date it could even be a past date because you might say that this document records the understanding between the parties and we have uh, it records the understanding between parties which has been effective from dash date which could be a past date okay or it could be effective from the date of execution most agreements or most complex agreements like loans um, even investment agreements shareholders agreements joint venture agreements these are not directly effective they are effective only if certain conditions are fulfilled so you can have a time clause that after 2 months this will be effective but that usually is not good enough for people so they say that until these 5 6 conditions are satisfied only then it will be effective so that's the effect so that is the effective date like effective date will be when the conditions specified have been fulfilled so which are these conditions these conditions are written down in a conditions precedent clause in in an investment agreement for example it is about obtaining for auth uh, authorizations from uh, different parties from the company company share uh, company shareholder and board agreeing to draft amended text of articles of association uh, increasing the authorized capital successful completion of due diligence all these so this depends from deal to deal but basically the idea is that if you you want to sign an agreement and you think there are things left to be done then you can always have this uh, effective date clause with a conditions precedent clause and specify whatever is pending to be fulfilled first as part of the conditions precedent then the agreement will uh, and you can also specify a timeline for for the period by which all conditions precedent should be fulfilled it could be maybe 2 uh, months 60 days from execution if it is not then what happens the whole thing is to be redone like the agreement will fall apart that is called sometimes a long stop date but that is just a commercial jargon but what you need to know is that this is an outer date 